Hey, what's happening, guys? We made this solder stand a year or two ago, and I've got a couple people that asked me if they could buy one. I don't really sell them. So I sent somebody the STL file. But I decided, you know what? It is time for an upgrade. Let's make this a little bit bigger and put in a couple holes so we can put in like a flux pen and some solder picks and stuff like that. All right. Let's go over to Tinkercad and we'll put it all together. All right, let's start putting our solder stand together here and design it. So we'll start off with a cube shape. I'm going to stick it right here in the middle like so. And our dimensions are going to be 150 millimeters by 80 millimeters with a height of 20 millimeters. So there we go so we're gonna put some uh, additional slots holes whatever you want to call them in here and for that we're gonna use our hole tool and we're gonna put one up here for our flux pen and it is going to be 16 by 16 I'm going to put it right up here and use control up arrow to raise it above and then we'll take it and our base <laughs> and we'll put them together as one piece now we have that hole now we're going to do it again but this time for some solder picks and we're going to go five by five and we will copy that guy and bring it up here like so Again, raise it up and another one. Oh, that was bad. I just wanted to move it. Bring it up, boom, boom. Then I'm just going to do this so I can kind of get them in a plane, you know. Good. Then we'll bring it all together. All right, so now we need the one for our soldering iron cleaner, which is another one. And its diameters are 68 millimeters by 68. like so bring it up bring everything together so far so good so now we need a square type hole that is 35 by 65 and this is to put our roll of solder in And it goes here like so bring it up a couple so it's proud of the bottom join them all together and now we need to make a holder for our roll of solder. So I'm just going to move this back here and get a solid shape. Put it here. We will go 20 and 5. I'm going to make this like 35. 
Now I want to give it a nice rounded top. So this needs to be five. Then we will rotate it. And we'll raise her up once I select it. Now I am no master at this so what you're seeing is basically just me tinkering here. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this and better ways. So why isn't it lining up right? See, now it's now it's too big over there. Just get them to line up with each other. Come on. This is maddening. One moment while I tinker. You don't need to watch this crap. <laughs> All right, I thought to myself, why am I even messing with that? Why don't I just make a complete oval shape? And that's fine. So our oval shape needs to go kind of in here like this, and then back here like so. Kind of want to even it out there like that. Then we also want another hole. We'll make that hole say uh, eight by eight. And we'll rotate it. Lift it up. And hopefully <laughs> be able to put it in place where we want it. There we go. Now we're going to take these two things, put them together, copy it, paste it, put one over here.
and we are just about done. Just one thing left to do. First we'll put these together so everything stays in place as we wish. Good. That's 150. So we'll get some text here. Fix our size, make it about uh, 120. And our height, maybe like 15. Then we're going to make it a hole. and bring it up in height a little bit not like that Good. I like it. All right. So let's export this as an STL file. And we will send it off. And this video is sponsored by PCBWay. I didn't know if you know, but I figured I'd tell you, they now do 3D printing, machining, injection, all that kind of good stuff. So let's go fuse deposition modeling, which is your basic 3D printing. And we'll get a quote. 3D printing. We need to add our CAD file. We can have resin, nylon, ABS, PLA, any of these types of materials. Let's do uh, ABS. You can have white or black. And they can even do some different surface finishes for you, including spray painting, detail sanding. Now, if you were to choose a different material, say for instance, resin, you can come in here and have an electroplated gold if you want. So that's very cool. We're just going to go with ABS. Get it printed normally, and we should be good to go. There's our title, 6835. Send it out, and it's ready to rock. So today is December 4th, Saturday now. PCB Way is not open again until Monday, which will be tomorrow night at 9 o'clock here. So I would expect we should see these somewhere around December 10th to the 12th. All we got to do now is wait for it. All right, so I was a little bit off on my estimate. We got it on December the 15th. And here it is. I think PCB Way did a fantastic job on it. Everything looks great.
Let's compare it to the original. So we've got our cleaner. We have our solder, which we can put some sort of a uh, an axle through. I don't really have anything at the moment to use as an axle, but we'll work on that. And then, of course, like I said, we have places for a couple of solder picks and some of Uncle Rob's magic solder flux. I think that's pretty cool, and it's a definite upgrade on the old one. Not going to take up too much more desk space room, but it looks really good. And once again, I can't thank PCB Way enough for their constant ongoing support of our channel. And, you know, the work they do is excellent, so I urge you to check them out. We're going to do one more thing to this. We're going to put some paint in there to make the, uh, make the logo show up. And I will make this available on PCBWay's website so you guys can get one if you want. All right, so I looked through my paints. <laughs> Apparently they don't come with white. So we'll do yellow. What do I have? Canvas, Kansas, Kansas City, Kansas. Oh, oh, that's going everywhere. Nice. You know, I've been good there. I've been a note that said pressurized or something along, something along those lines, huh? So pack this up we'll paint and see if we can't find a better way of doing this it's just water paint so I'm not real concerned about it getting everywhere you know, on me and all that stuff it'll just wash off Man, something in here stinks. I hope it was just a dog farted and she didn't, you know, drop a steamer somewhere. Whew. Well, after a thorough check of the abode, there's no evidence of a steamer. So I'm just guessing. Dog, we floated in there, biscuit. bad at all now unfortunately I cannot um, share this on the PCB away website so if you want the STL file drop me an email Arduino 0169 at gmail.com and uh, I'll get it to you I'll email you the STL file then you can have it printed yourself or print it yourself or you know however you want to do it but I'll make it available to you no charge free Christmas present from you or from me to you and once again I want to thank PCB way for their support in all the projects I do you should check them out for your projects too all right that's it I'm out. Peace.